Good morning everyone, today in this video we will fight against the atmosphere character of our world around us and today we will uh, speak about uh, gun, uh, gun laws so uh, regulations, law regulations that regulate, in my opinion they shouldn't regulate at all the access of citizens or inhabitants of some countries to the guns why is gun for? gun first of all is to defend yourself to defend yourself against what against whom uh, to defend yourself first of all against greedy government i mean government nowadays also including greedy corporations that uh, very tightly collaborate with each other to grab as much as possible from people including their life their health and anything especially some very rich people recently are speaking openly about some uh, universal changes of the living models, reduction of the number of people, or maybe uh, turning them into something else, humor robots, robot humans, you know, this bubble. But history teaches us, especially the last 100 years, that ideological bubbles sometimes some uh, limited people try to int introduce into the reality and it costs millions of lives like Pol Pot, like Mao, like Lenin, like many, many, many others leftists. So, the Second Amendment in the Constitution of the United States is a golden regulation that allows citizens to possess guns in order to defend themselves. It's a very beautiful thing. In many countries, such uh, regulations uh, were also uh, present, but like in Australia, after some uh, strange accident that suddenly someone killed some persons, later there was hysterical media campaign, some nations gave up this very precious law that allowed them to be armed. And eventually, yeah, it uh, took some years for Australians since the 80s, but eventually in 1996, Australians became armless. Uh, for many years nothing happened, but last two years showed that thanks to the presence of Ch micro Chinese friend, uh, government actually could do with Australians what government wanted together with greedy corporations. So what did they do with Australians? They suppressed them com completely. They made wipes out of them. Complete suppression, complete oppression. Simply Australia turned out to be in, uh, like North Korea and Mr. Morrison should be renamed for Mr. Kimson. Kimir, Kimir, Kimirison. Exactly. So, uh, why it happened? Also because Australians couldn't defend themselves, because uh, <laughs> over two decades before they uh, became completely armless. Such things didn't happen in many places in the United States, for instance, because people are armed and have guns. Okay, every state has its own regulations. Some states within the United States are more liberal. Uh, in, with respect to the gun laws, some people are uh, so, sorry. Some states are less liberal, but in general, there is a universal access to the guns. But uh, y you see, when this debate, someone wants to—I mean, government and corporations who are greedy for power—wants to heat up this problem, there there is always some massacre, some incident, and there is always some mysterious perpetrator who always kills some people with guns, suddenly this guy disappears, or even if, if he or she doesn't commit a suicide, immediately after the action, mm, he or she is declared mentally ill, unstable, or whatever. Uh, do we recognize something? Yes. It means that these perpetrators were pre-prepared by, uh, in my opinion, a fraction within secret service of the a country, fraction of the people from secret service agencies uh, who, I mean the people from this fraction, are really interested in t taking down the second amendment. So uh, taking, taking away the guns from the US people to make them simply slaves of the government and corporation and press them uh, as much as they did uh, in, within the last two years with Australians. Uh, let's hope guns will stay in the hands of free citizens because gun as a property 
is the manifestation of the freedom. That you, uh, if one possesses something, has some financial stability and independence, and if one is armed, also possess, uh, possesses uh, guns, then this person uh, possessing these two things, so property and the uh, guns, can declare that I'm a free person. Without one of these two things, you are not free. Because as we saw in the very recent history, actually in some sense still ongoing, like in Australia, if you are not able to defend yourself and your property, government can do with you what government wants. That's why let's uh, hope that Second Amendment, that Americans will uh, defend their one of the most fundamental law that is guaranteed by the Second Amendment to their great constitution. All the best. Bye.